is over, we get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Jordan Bureau. I hope you guys gonna like it. While you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for Ladies the particulars inside the octagon, is here is Bruce Buffer. The evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Leving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice loop and bunch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. 
and now he's got that tie clinch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lee's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That is, oh man, this dude is good. There's no tell on that leg kick. Caught the kick. Oh, beautiful hook. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. And that one was heavy. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice punch here. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? He loaded up there on that high kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Just misses with that one. starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Drifts on the straight right hand. Nice straight punch. the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch by Lee. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And they separate. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and... At some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight, 
with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string up. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Punch over the top. Look at how he turns his hip to that leg Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Luke. Right punches there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Leg kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Pretty significant well to the left side. Try to establish that jab. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Right up the elbow, body to land. Look at how. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee's kick is blocked. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Nice punch land over the top. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great effect. Oh, thunderous leg kick on him. Flipped it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice strike. 30 seconds to go in this one. Beautiful kick. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick 
to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the Ultimate Championship between Bruce Lee and Jordan Bureau. Thank you guys for watching. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound